Hello there. So I mentioned when I did the video on my Apple II Plus interfacing with the image writer through the super serial card here that I had bought manuals for the image writer. And I wanted to talk about that for a very specific reason. This is the Apple Image Writer user manual. This goes over how to set it up with things like the dip switches so you can interface it with the computer. But there's a part of this manual, quite literally, that has not been preserved. This is part one for the reference, and this is part two, guide to Apple II. This covers how to set up your image writer with an Apple II using a super serial card to the point where it actually shows how to configure the jumpers, including that stupid terminal block, jumper block thing here, uh, for using the Apple II with the image writer. Goes over how you connect the box shell and that stuff to plug in the card, get it connected to the printer, uh, how you can actually do printing with it. Basically, this is like the book version of the video I just made, and I didn't even know that because this was not scanned because no one had actually done that. And I have now scanned this, put it up on archive.org. So this is now a preserved document. But I wanted to point out here that even with something as absolutely ridiculously over-the-top possible as the Apple II, there was an official... Apple document, a okay, real Apple document, this is not third party or anything, an actual Apple document for all first party peripherals that has not yet been preserved. So it doesn't matter what you have, what systems you're looking at, it's worth checking if a document has been preserved and go ahead and try and preserve it your best. I don't care if you take pictures with your phone of what the individual pages are, use an app to do it, or you go out and buy a fancy scanner. This just wasn't documented and preserved at all. No one had looked at this in who knows how many years and thought this should be saved. And this even includes uh, some unique software in here, uh, the hex code program, and maybe it's way in the back here, uh, that's designed to allow you to print special characters into text files. So there is some unique stuff in this that up until now was just lost. So this is just a brief reminder that uh, it's always worth checking documents, even if it's something as popular as, say, an Apple II, just to see if they have been preserved and to try and preserve them yourself.